A developing story now. We're learning more about the 26 lives lost when a gunman opened fire inside of a Texas church and the man who pulled the trigger. Here's the latest now. In the last hour, investigators revealed the shooter died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Officials also say 26-year-old Devin Kelly did not have a license to carry a gun. And Kelly's mother-in-law, who attended the church, received threatening texts from the gunman. Now, Channel 2's Craig Lucy reports a neighbor saw the tragedy unfold and stepped in to save lives. A small Texas town now mourning 26 of their neighbors gunned down Sunday in the deadliest church shooting in modern U.S. history. Sunday morning, a gunman walked into the First Baptist Church in Sutherland Springs, Texas, and opened fire on the congregation. The tragedy prompted a massive response from first responders as well as residents of this small town. The second we, we knew what was going on, we just ran over there to help. Officials say the suspected gunman, Devin Kelly, walked into the church with an AR-15 style weapon and then started shooting. Kelly was in the Air Force but was convicted in 2012 of child abuse. He served one year before being released in 2013. His bad conduct, discharge, and conviction should have prevented him from passing the background check required to purchase the gun. The youngest victim is just five years old, the oldest, 72. Among the dead, the pastor's 14 year old daughter, Annabelle Renee Pomeroy. Local resident Johnny Langendorf said Kelly exchanged gunfire with another man as he left the church. Uh, the gentleman in the right, with the rifle came to my truck as the shooter took off and said that we had to get him, and so that's what I did. Both men chased a suspect as he took off from the scene. A short time later, Kelly crashed his car and was found dead from a gunshot wound. At this time, we don't know if it was a self-inflicted gunshot wound or if he was shot by our local resident. Texas Governor Greg Abbott says he doesn't think this was a random act of violence. He believes the suspected gunman targeted the church for a particular reason, but would not elaborate. And stay with Challenge Action News for continuing coverage of the Texas church massacre. Right now, authorities continue to comb through that scene. We have a, a live report from Texas on the investigation coming up in the next 15 minutes. Also, get updates throughout the day on our WSB-TV news app as we learn more about the victims.